Welcome back for more Inquisitor Trainer. Let's turn in for the night. Inquisitor Cordelia really was something. I'm sure she was. What should I do next? Usually for your next assignment, they contact you from your communication terminal here in your quarters. Alternately, you can be proactive by reporting to the headquarters for missions or additional training. If your career is anything like I've recorded in my centuries of service, you'll want to get stronger. But there are no more tasks for today. I think I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna jump into bed early. Heidi keeps thinking about what just happened in the Inquisitor's office. Skull, I want to do my homework before going to bed. That's surprising. I was thinking maybe I can stroke my clit until I come. You undress yourself and get into bed. Are you just going to stand there and watch? I can't do much more than watch. I'm not actually standing. Right, you're just floating around. It's called hovering, you inconsiderate girl. Whatever, I just want you to watch me. Actually, record me. I want to watch this later. This is part of my learning process, and I have to find my G-spot. And your recording will help me make my mistakes. Help me spot my mistakes when I fail. Brah. So are you going to do it? If I could get hard right now. Yeah, I suppose. How do I look? Please be honest. Well, you are unbelievable. I have a lot of babies to stomp on, and I brought my baby stomping boots. Don't ruin this for me. Is These that... boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. These boots are gonna stomp all over baby skulls for you. You turn off the lights. You go to sleep. Heidi sleeps. The next morning... Hey, wake up! What? Oh, it's you again. Who else would it be? Do you have to be here every morning? Not really. Then why are you here again? I'm here to tell you that you have a message in your communication terminal. Yeah, right. I'm serious. Why don't you go and take a look? You turn on the terminal. Holy shit! There is one message from Co Inquisitor Cordelia. It says, I liked the video you sent me. Meet me in the planetary governor. Meet me in the planetary go governor as soon as you can. I wonder what this is all about. And where exactly is the governor's palace? It's on the upper part of the main spire. We can take the turbo elevator to get there. I'll show you the way. Okay, let's go. You and the servo skull head to the planetary governor. Good morning, Heidi. Good morning, Inquisitor. Good to see you two in good spirits. Now let's see the governor, shall we? Oh, I forgot to ask, what's the purpose of our attendance? As you know, I ju I've arrived just recently in his, and in his inquiry for the assistance of Ordo, Z of Ordo Zeno's Lord Governor has failed to specify a few things. More or less, we need to make sure that my presence here is warranted. I do love the porn music playing. Okay, got it. You enter the throne room. God damn it, I have to censor those boobs. Lord Governor Von Tyden. Inquisitor Cordelia. This is my acolyte Heidi. My lord? Have you brought you brought an acolyte very good? Now, how may I be of service? Ladies, please, shoo. I shall fondle the titties later. Yes, yeah, straight to the point. I've requested your assistance due to a very unfortunate series of events. As you've seen, missing reports in the upper levels of the of levels are on the rise, dreadfully so. And a few days back, my adopted daughter, Agnesia, has gone missing. I see. With all due respect, Inquisition does not seem suitable for this. Wouldn't you agree? In other words, finding a missing child is not our in our job description. Shut up. Okay. I thought you would say so. However, we have a reason to believe that this is a result of the Xeno involvement, along with other disappearances. Xeno sightings are getting increasingly more frequent in the sector, alarmingly so, 
and law enforcement simply does not have enough resources to investigate the matter. We will not let them burn down an entire city for fuck's sake on their own, which is why I requested the assistance of the Inquisition. I see. Do we have to sing every time? No, no. We've done that joke already. We received reports of several kidnappings committed by heretic cults. Significant number of Xeno ships dropping out of warp and entering the sector. All of this happening at the same time with the disappearance of my daughter. Any ransom demand? Nothing so far. Understood, my lord. We will do what we can. You can count on us. Thank you. So, what do you think? I think it's full of shit. Oh, shut up, will you? I wasn't even asking you. No, I would have to agree with the skull here. Don't be mean to my boy. I feel so validated right now, you wouldn't believe it! The governor doesn't seem too earnest, to put it lightly. Still, something bothers me about the general situation. I will go through local archives and see if they contain useful information. At the same time, I think I have proper assignment for you, Heidi. So, it was the governor who summoned you to this planet? Yes, indeed he did. What do I need to do? You can start by investigating here, within the palace. Look for clues and ask around. I would start with mess with the missing daughter's bedchamber, if I were you. And go to the dark library in the headquarters. There will be lots more- Lots of mo- There will be lots of most sacred artifacts, trophies, and- Proscribed sexes, many of which are taken from the corpses of heretics and aliens. Go there to study the most perverted seduction techniques to help you get information you need from the unwilling participants. That's so cool. Do you use those techniques often, Inquisitor? Well, what do you think? An Inquisitor is a, clan a clandestine agent of the Imperial Inquisition. We work like secret police and intelligent agents of the Imperium. We only use bolters as our last results. resort. However, to keep the dangerous knowledge hidden and protected from those who would misuse it, few are allowed to access it, so you need to convince that old psyker librarian to give you access. And how would I convince a librarian to give me access? It can be very tricky sometimes. As a young female, you can use your body for your advantage. Well, I don't know how to use my beauty to get information like that. Get naked or suck his dick, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Good, but if you if that still doesn't work, you may you, you may as well bribe him. Ask him to show you show you which codex series you need to read to enhance your perversion skills. The higher your perversion level, the easier you are for interrogating them. Remember to always use your weapons only when you have no other way out and avoid any unnecessary intention. Now there are some important matters that I must attend to. Report back to me when you find anything. Yes, Inquisitor. The Inquisitor leaves. Uh, let's try the bedchambers, although we may need to get our seduction up. You try to open the bedchamber, but it's locked. This can't be right. The governor must have told me if it was locked. You hear some noises from inside the bedchamber. Did you hear that? Something's not right. I can't open this door. Allow me to help you with that lock. I was having fun, and you interrupted me. You will regret this little acolyte. Hey, where do you think you're going? The Eldar jumps through the window. Thank you. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Who, who was she? I don't know. She looks very different from people around here. That's because she's an alien, Jesus. To be more precise, a dark Eldar witch. No way. But she was very pale. And kinda hot. Contrary to popular beliefs, Dark Eldar actually have light skin complexions. What is she doing here in the city? We need to investigate this. What are you doing in the governor's daughter's room? I heard something unusual after we left the throne room. Then I went upstairs to check it by myself. You investigate the window. There are no signs of forced entry in the window. It was open from the inside. Or she could have entered from the front door. With all the palace guards patrolling around? There were no guards near the hallway when I came to this room. Hmm. There's no conclusive evidence on how that Eldar managed to get inside this bedchamber. Do you have any idea who she was? I have no idea. 
It looks to me like the Eldar is quite familiar with this palace. As if she was here many times before. You investigate under the bed. You find a book. Interesting piece of literature. Fifty Shades of Grey Knight. Aren't the Grey Knights no longer in existence? Sounds entirely heretical in nature. Sounds like a best-selling erotica to me. Lately, she, the governor's daughter, made a lot of purchases of similar books and began reading them intensely. That doesn't sound good. Do you have any idea what she was doing? Maybe she was looking for something? No, she jumped me before I could do anything. Then she pushed me under the bed before I could scream in fright. When I spotted her, she tore off my clothes, then bit my lips and neck while scratching my thigh with her big, scary hands, and then you guys came. Mm, Dark Eldar, vicious and dangerous. Though I do not think this woman was in any danger. How so? Normally, a Dark Eldar would have skinned her alive. And I mean literally. What? You look inside a drawer. You find a badge. What is this thing? It looks like some sort of pin or badge. With a weird symbol engraved on its surface. Wait, I know that symbol. It is the symbol of the most powerful criminal gang in the Undercity. That gang is known to have strong connections with the heretic cults and aliens. That could explain why a Dark Eldar was here. Maybe. Still, it doesn't explain why she was butt naked in this room. Still, this badge might be an important piece of evidence. By the Emperor, do you think she's involved with the criminal activities of this gang? We don't know. She could have joined them, or they might have kidnapped her. I think we need to go to the Undercity to look for more clues. I agree. We need to talk to the Governor to get access to the Undercity. Please be careful. You're hiding something. Don't worry, I'm always careful. Right. I am! Okay, never mind. Let's go. Report, Acolyte! What have you found? We found a badge in your daughter's bedchamber. Let me see it. You give the badge to the governor. This badge, it has the re the Reaver's gang marks on it. They are troublemakers, but they've always operated in their territory deep within the Undercity. Yes, my lord, we believe this Reaver gang had something to do with the disappearance of your daughter. We will go to the Undercity to confront them and find the whereabouts of your daughter. Ideally accompanied by a battalion of enforcers or imperial guards? Eh, yeah, no, you're going on your own. I do not want you to attract too much attention in the Undercity. What? There are other factions in the Undercity. We do not want an incite a full-blown rebellion. Be discreet. Besides, mobilizing the imperial forces are somewhat, um, expensive. But sacrificing one acolyte and a servo skull will be more cost-efficient? No need to worry, Governor. We'll go there with full discretion. That is what the Inquis Inquisition is for. Actually, it is not. <sighs> Never mind. This is the access key to the turbo lift. You get an access key. Alright, so let's head to the headquarters. You go to the library. What is this place? This is the library that Cordelia was telling you about. Unfortunately, not everyone is allowed to study the books in here. I've heard even the most well-learned Imperial scholars could scarcely imagine the secrets and lore contained in this library. Let's talk to the librarian and you will have to, you will have to be respectful. There's got to be something interesting. I should avoid reading any forbidden... Eh, let's find out. You see an old man seated behind a desk, laden with books and papers, wearing an elaborate power armor. The old man rises his head to look at you. Hmm. Who the hell are you two? Hmm, greetings, sir. I am the Inquisitor. Why are you wearing that kind of armor inside a library? What kind of question is that? This is the proper apparel for every librarian of the Imperium. Would be considered as heresy if a librarian wears nothing else. Wouldn't want to make any noise in his library. I agree with that. Way, way we, may we have a look at these books, sir? Where do you want to read those books? Some of them are forbidden. 
I need to learn to improve my skills in order to be a good agent of the Inquis in Inquisition. Well, in that case, you are a lucky girl. You've come to the perfect place. But they come at a great cost. You see those dirty books you want? They're placed in the heart of his library in a smaller inner chamber. In there, you will find the oldest available copy of the Black Book, held in a stasis plinth, or protected by halo reflection. Many important people visit the quiet, dusty halls of this chamber to draw their inspiration and resolve from that ancient book in times of desperation. That sounds perfect. Okay, then. What's the cost? Librarian lowers his voice to whisper. It depends on how dirty you want to read it. You want to read? I need to translate the script in Black Book into something that humans can read. But let me warn you again. Some of the books are heretical in nature. If I see any signs that you get tempted by chaos, then I will put a bolt around in your head. The caliber size of his bolter is bigger than your head. Understood? Careful. I can oh, I can read your mind, and I see... You see, I'm a psyker. <laughs> Come now, I'll show you the way. Back for more books? Let's look at the collection. I had to pay? Let's go to the training. Okay. The sign says Happy Toaster Pawn Shop. You enter. Hello, anybody here? Look at this place. It's such a mess. And the smell. Feels like we're inside a thousand-year-old Imperial Titan's engine compartment. I didn't know that you could still smell. Whoever made me into a servo skull must have an interesting reason for it. Anyway, I don't think there's anybody living here. Not even a mouse would want to live here amongst this rusty pile of old machine parts. Wait, I think I hear something. You hear a strange mechanical sound. Was it you who made that sound? No, it wasn't me. A hooded figure suddenly appears from behind a pile of junk. Ooh, what do we have here? Customers! Welcome! Welcome! What can Sticks the Broken do for you? Yeah, okay. Interesting place to get a sh to set up shop. What sort of business do you do? You earn some heretical points. Well, I buy and sell things here in the Undercity. Do you want to buy something, or do you have something to sell? Ooh, how about Servo Skull of yours? I will pay a lot of money for a well-functioning Servo Skull of this model. What is your offer? Excuse me! This is a rare model, you see. It can smell. Ooh, interesting. Hey, don't touch me! Stop touching me! Mom, he's touching me! Hmm. I see that it has behavioral issues. Not a problem. I can reset its memory core and put a new program. Just kidding, he's not for sale. Oh. Yet. Not funny. Let me know when you change your mind. What do you have for sale? Have a look at my inventory. You can talk to him. How's it going? Busy as usual. What do you need? Okay, so he's not really Holy hell, what are these guys doing? I don't know, and I frankly don't care right now. We have better things to do. I think I need to get a better look at these people. Alrighty, but only because I'm curious, too. You approach the crowd, which seems to be partaking. You don't need to go there yet. You enter the bar. I'm gonna fuck up his voice and everyone gets mad at me. Hello, Umi! And flying skeleton Umi head. Welcome to my establishment. Oh, hi. First time in lower part of the city. <laughs> yeah. How do you know? Because you smell different. Really? He's an orc. It is most likely he possessed a better sense of smell than the average human. Xenos, huh? Let's see what I can learn. This creature should probably know a lot of things about the Undercity. 
I assume you've never seen aliens before? Saw a dark Eldar in a butthole earlier today. This city is full of surprises. Fair enough. My name is Vognog. What brings you here, Umi? I'm an acolyte of the Inquisition, and I'm investigating. Shh. I think we should be more discreet with our intentions around here. Oh, all right. Uh, my name is Heidi, and this is my servitor skull. We accidentally pressed the wrong turbo button, and we ended up in here. You got lost in the Undercity, huh? How can Vong help you? So, what can you tell me about the Undercity? Vong not gonna tell you lots of things. What would, you, what would you like to know? Do you like it in here? Are you kidding me, Umi? Of course Vogel will like it here. This place is much better than most places that I have been. And this is the good place to start business. How so? Yes, how can the most polluted, infected, and unlawful part of the city be a good place to start a business? There are lots of reasons. For starters, there are many Umis and aliens ooking around. Are you saying that there are more aliens here in the Undercity? Yes, Dad. Right, under the very nose of the Inquisition and the military. Now that you have mentioned aliens, we are looking for a particular rare-haired, dark Eldar woman. With a nice ass. Mm, let me think. Let me think. I don't remember seeing any Eldar woman too late lately. There was this blue Tao woman with pensive, with pensive clothing and the claim that came here from an important case of his society cast of his society but he refused to pay for his drinks he said that everything should be free and that is for the greater good and you let him go with that but the bodyguards on with that energy rifles they got Vognog got numbered next time quickly get up close and engage them in melee I think you can you easily deal without them even only armed with that beer mug of yours. Mm, interesting strategy. You are a clever floating Umi skeleton head. Yes, he is. Anything else you could, that you remember? Uh, a family of tichronid, tichronid aliens came here. They got, they got lots of children. Peep. Caught that one. Purple? <laughs> Brought their families to a shady bar like this? Well, it's a misunderstanding. After asking for the menu, they realized they came to the wrong place. They thought this was an all-you-can-eat restaurant. Hmm, interesting. So, where did you come from, Vognog? And how did you get here? Vognog was knocking... Was was a cook on Oak Fi Orc Pirate Cruiser belonging to Captain Legsplitter. One day I was preparing the captain's favorite meal. It was cracking egg omelette. But then she went mad because I didn't put enough eggshells in the omelette. Your captain likes to have eggshells in her omelette? Yep. Crunchies. Okay, then what happened? She threw me out the airlock. Ouch. Then Umi Vessel picked me up in space and dropped me off in this planet. I see. No. Oh fuck, slow down, foreplay. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. This one was weird. Ah, uh, starting a little rough. I like it, you dirty boy, aren't you? Damn, you really weren't kidding. You're gonna beat my ass into submission, huh? I feel like there's a whole part that went missing. Fuck, that hurts. I tell you to stop, give it to me. You look around. Hmm, there's nothing unusual down here. Do you notice anything out of the ordinary? Other than the foul smell of the undercity, everything looks quite normal. I know I can get on your sense of smell. Ah, uh, shut up. Seriously, though, there's nothing here. This alley is situated right next to the bar. Maybe we can ask the owner if he noticed anything unusual happened? Okay. You enter the bar. This character doesn't seem to be interested to have a conversation with you. Welcome back, Umi. What can I get you? 
Ask about the dark alley behind the bar. That dark alley next to the bar looks suspicious. Everything in the Undercity looks suspicious, including me. Yeah, so I noticed. I mean, is there anything more suspicious than usual? Nothing that I can remember. It's quite a dark alley, like most of the other alleys in the Undercity. But I hear something interesting from from one from one of my customers yesterday. What is it? I am never going to be able to do this guy's accent. I know it's supposed to be British. Remember that alien woman you've been looking for? Someone saw an alien with that description passing around there and said the woman attack activated some kind of device that emanates purple glow. The Dark Eldar. I gotta look into this. Thanks, Vognog. My pleasure. Any news from the Undercity? Nope, nothing much lately. Why don't you come back later? What an interesting neon sign. I wonder what's behind that door. Let's find out. The door is locked. Hey, Vognog, what is behind the door here? Can you open it for us? That is the door to the strip club. Where you'll be able to see naked means and alien girls dancing on the naughty things. Oh, praise the Emperor. By the order of the Inquisition, I demand you let us go through that door. Discretion, huh? What a pervert. Shut up! Sorry, Umi. The strip club is not open for business yet. Vognog still needs to find the girl to work the strip club. Do you know any? Not at the moment. But I'll keep an eye out. I also need to find a clean someone to clean the bar during the under the daytime while the bar is closed. We'll not earn much to keep it'll not I'll not earn much it's compared to the working in the slip club. But it it better than nothing. Hmm, interesting. I'll look into it. Hey, what's wrong? Don't you wanna go in? No, I don't wanna go in. Oh, why's that? Don't think I'm cut out for this shit. Heidi needs more heretical points in order to be able to perform in the strip club. Alright, as you wish. Look at that man sitting over there. He looks awfully vicious, even for the Undercity. And I thought folks would at least look slightly happy after seeing boobies and having a drink at the bar. I don't think that's a man. Well, he obviously is not tall enough to be an Eldar and not green enough to be an orc. I mean, it's a woman. Let's go talk to her. Hello there! I can't help it. <clears throat> what do you want? I haven't seen you before. You don't look like a local. Are you new to this planet? None of your business. We live in a city where the orcs are much friendlier than the humans. Well, at least you're right, she's a woman. Leave me alone. Tell that service skull to shut up. Okay, we'll just leave you then. Good. Okay, here we go again. I'm not seeing any signs of alien women. The cell is as quiet as it is, be as it is before. No signs of any devices either. Wait, look here. You see some debris on the ground and some purple colored substance. Well, what do we have here? A broken remains of some sort of alien device. And some warp dust. Warp dust? Isn't that some kind of drug? You can get high by inhaling these dust. At least that's what people said. You don't know for sure? No, and I have no means of proof of it either. Androids, servitors, and robots are immune to this substance. And don't even think of trying it yourself. Bummer. Why is it here then? My guess is that somebody tried to use warp travel. On the surface of a planet? Some alien species use portals or gateways to access the warp. And these devices might even have small, might even be small enough to be portable. And this debris means the remains of such a device, or at least a key to activating them. Alien tech stuff. Needs somebody with enough knowledge to see this. Tampering with alien technology will be considered heresy. Means we cannot bring it to the HQ and have it analyzed. The military and the Inquisition will just burn and destroy it right away. Any suggestions? Probably a tech priest will be willing to look at it. Okay, we need to find one then. You pick up the broken alien device and put it in your inventory. closed oh it's nighttime okay so with that we will head back up to our apartment 
All right, guys, that's we're going to call it. So thank you all for joining me for another episode. If you want to support, you know how to do it. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Bye, guys.